Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you about flash, I'm going to teach you about flash print 5 which is a relatively new flash print model and I'm going to be showing it to you with my friend. Hi guys. So first, if we can do, we can't do anything as you can see all these things are grayed out, right? Yeah. And so first we have to load a file. So your, your file should be saved to your computer already. If not, pause the video, go back into Fusion, export your file as an STL and which doesn't take too long, max five minutes, and then come back here. But if you already have your file, great. So you have to go to model file, then you have to click this cube with the plus. It's really small. And then we have all of our files right here. So you have to scroll down and get the snowman out. That snowman's really cute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's super cute. So I'm gonna show you what each of these tools does what does and then after that we'll show you how to slice and connect your machine so then first we're going to demonstrate the move tool do you want to know what the move move tool does and why it's important yes please okay so basically what you have to do is then when printing your model always has to be on the platform there is no excuses to that none yeah. And if it's not on the platform and folding in the air, it's just going to print in the air and just fall. Yeah, you don't want it all over the place, I would waste the film. Mm-hmm. And film is very expensive. Yep. 20 to 30 dollars per kg, not pound. That's true, that's true. So what you want to do is click on platform so it moves. And if you want to move this to a specific area, like if I want to move this to the corner, and make sure it doesn't have this red because that means it's off the platform completely, mm -hmm. we could just put it here. Okay. And that's basically it. You can move it all around. And if you want to, you can rise, rise it. But always, if you are going to print this, you have to make sure it's on the platform. Okay. So after that, rotate. Rotate is pretty self-explanatory. You just rotate, but in different, well, axes. X, Y, or Z. Yeah. So which axis do you want to do? Um, let's do Y. So 90 degrees. Yeah. You can also type in your own degrees, like if we want to type in like 45 or something. Yeah. But usually people do 90. Yeah. So it becomes that and it's floating. Oh, well, it won't like it stick to anything? No, it won't. Oh, that's cool. What about if we do it across the X, the Z axis? Then it just rotates around on the platform. That's so after that, we're going to show you the scale tool, and scale is basically self-explanatory as well. You can make your object bigger or smaller to scale. So if you guys don't script scale drawings in math or school or something like that, you'll basically make a drawing bigger or smaller through a specific ratio. And as you guys know what this does, so it starts out 100%, and you can increase it, which also increases the X, Y, and Z, or decrease it and go below 100%, which is lower than what it was before. So, um... What part does X increase, what part does Y increase, and what part does Z increase? Well, all you have to do is look at the key right here. So X increases this length, Y increases the width, and Z increases the height. But it really doesn't matter which one increases because if you increase the percentage, all of them increase. And if you increase one, it will increase the others. Mostly because they have uniform scaling right on. If you didn't, then things might get a little messy. So I prefer to have uniform scaling on. So is there a maximum for this? Technically, no, you can go as big as you want, but you see this whole box thing? Yeah. If one crosses, as like showed before, it'll be become too big for the printer, and you get all these red, and it'll basically overload your printer. Yeah, and you, you never don't want this. to explode your 3D printer or like waste the filament. Yeah, plus this will take like 50 meters, and I don't recommend doing this to your printer. So you just um, get rid of all this and change back to like 7. What it was. So if it's you want to make it that big, you can just put separate, separate pieces and glue together. Yeah, that's what I do for some of my builds, but not often. Cut is also self-explanatory. You can just cut a specific part of your thing and do it as two different pieces. Like if I wanted to cut this, I press start cut, and then they're basically two separate pieces. But people don't usually cut. At least I don't usually. And if I did, it's just like something very minor. So don't just cut too often because you can just do that in fusion. Yeah. Uh, for a cut, do we only cut horizontal or we could do like diagonal or vertical? Well, you can do in three separate angles, like X, Y, and Z. And then if you want to do this, which I haven't experimented with yet. If you guys want to experiment, go ahead. But that is pretty much it. Yeah. Duplicate is very handy because you can duplicate the same object, which flash, 
which Blackstrom 4.6.2 didn't offer, which I really like. And you can go as many as you want, but don't overload your printer, as said before. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to, you know, so, make like 5,000 copies and just have like mini so, snowmen all over your <laughs> room or house. Yeah. So I'm just going to delete all these because they're not needed and if you see we also have more of the same file and it duplicates so it basically makes the same model and it takes it from the file on your computer. So after that auto layout, this auto layout is very useful when you have many objects on your plate and you're about to print and make sure none of them touch and stick together and it will, and it will be really really bad if they stuck together because they're stuck. It, they're stuck. You can't take it off unless you like saw it off, I guess. Yeah, I but, have seen people saw it off before. Yeah, but that would take a long time because it's. Well, many, it many is layers. plastic. Um, you can 3D print in several different materials: metal, ceramics, plastic, chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, chocolate. Oh, 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 that's new. Never heard of chocolate 3D printing. Yeah, but it is true. I have seen pictures of it. Well, at least you can eat it after. <laughs> yeah, chocolate's usually hard, but it melts over time, so they just heat it up and it melts really quickly. Yeah, but what would be dangerous to get this like? No, you just have to wait for it to cool down. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't want to burn off my mouth <laughs> eat, trying to eat chocolate. No, you don't. But as that, that's what Ottawa is. Supports, I haven't experienced with supports so much, so I can't really say much, but you can always experiment with, with these yourself and test if there's if supports can help your build or not. But yes, click back. And you can also do supports in your settings, just saying that. Lightning Tower, I haven't experienced much either, so you have freedom to try that yourself. So, multi machine control basically connects your machine, but you can also go to connect machine like how it was in last flash print. Go to your IP address, connect machine, and all of that stuff, and it opens up multi-machine control. That is basically it. Well, one more thing though. Yeah. So, before you do any printing, you have to do slicing. Do you know what slicing is? No. Slicing is basically you cut each layer for the printer, and it basically makes the whole thing except in layers. So you go to start slicing, and we have this big window with all these different, well, settings you can do. It was much more advanced than the last 4.6.2 flash print, but that is okay. I already have set my configuration. You might have to go through all of this, like skim through it and see what you want. But since I already set my configuration, I can just go to slice. And we have this little bar that says slicing model. And then this is what I really like about flash print 5. You go. Here, you see this whole like key and you can see the infill, outfill, outer shell, everything and if you zoom in all the way in, you can see the infill. And this comes really handy if there's a flaw in your design, you can probably find it and fix it. That's nice. So like, we, if when we get the printed like thing, mm -hmm. we can't see this many stuff in it, right? No, this it's is like, like a more detailed version, unlike the finished copy that's printed, it's just solid. Oh, I see. It also tells you the time, the estimated material, file name obviously, as in last flash, flash print, as well as these. So we can always close that. That is it for this video. My, does my friend have anything to say? Yeah, I have a question. So for rotating, um, can you like rotate it on like all of the axes at the same time? Can you rotate like X, Y, and Z at the same time? Technically, no. Well, I have to select the model, but you can do it separately and do that. Oh, so technically, you just do one at a time, but it stays. Yeah. So it doesn't like reset, and then you. So have for to do like, it again. if I do a 90 degrees on the Y, I like. We do 90 degrees on Y. Okay. You just set all this to zero. Uh huh. So 90 degrees on Y, and then we do 90 degrees on Z. Mhm. Mm and we do 90 degrees on X. Like that. Oh, so it just prints like that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. Because I thought we can only do like one. Like we can only do like like 90 degrees on Y, and then that's it. You can't do anything else. No, you can basically do infinite amount of adjusting before you can print. Any other questions? No, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
please like and subscribe because I need the subscribers as my friend can tell you. Yes, she does. So please subscribe and like the video and and also check out my treehouse video and let me know in the comments what kind of build you want me to uh, make. Because someone already um, commented and said they wanted a garden and I already have made that I'm waiting for you guys to respond to me. So thank, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and does my friend have anything to say? Have a great day. Bye!